Whoa! Hi guys. Paul here from PA Brew News. Gonna have another beer here from the Thin Man Brewing Company, a double IPA coming in at 8% alcohol by volume called Cashmere Double Dry Hop Bliss. I didn't put Cashmere in the title because I'm stupid. So, here it is. Cashmere Double Dry Hop Bliss from Thin Man Brewing Company. I believe they're from Buffalo, New York. Look, it's Mr. Rogers. He was from Latrobe, Pennsylvania, which is about 25 minutes north of me. Then he went down to Pittsburgh and made his fame as Mr. Rogers. Because everything amazing happens in Pennsylvania. So there we go. <coughs> Actually, Mr. Rogers' sweaters that he wore through the whole TV show were all made by his mother. So that's a Mr. Rogers sweater fact right there. Anyway, way, way, who, 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 how, how? I just want to see where Thin Man. Yep, from Buffalo. Uh, not sure if Joe did this one already on his Western New York Wednesday. But I like Bliss. And this was on 729. So just a month and a half old. There we go. Again, Bliss. There it is. Aroma. Mm. Nice haze. Nice little lemon yellow haze on this one. It's got this nice, like, either lactose or torrified wheat but tonality of the sweetness coming up sharp. A little bit metallic tone as well. Lemon. Lemon grapefruit. Hit waft of, like, a peach. Tangerine. Sounds a little bit like the one I had before, but it does smell different. These are more sharp, zesty notes. Kind of hitting the palate, like real, real staccato, like pow, pow, pow. It's hitting, it's not just this wafting tone that comes up. They're very sharp. They ebb and flow, but they're very sharp. Very nice smelling. Cheers. It's actually really easy drinking. Bit thin. Wow. Yeah. It's on the low side. I would say this is on the low side of a medium body. For sure. Nice little soft carbonation. Wafting everything around. It's very subtle in the flavor. It was very sharp and staccato in the, in the nose. The aromas were zip, zip, zip. Bang, bang, bang. But here, they're just... They're all expanded out, and they're very nuanced. So, 8% though is stupid, because this is just going down easy. It's like a session IPA. Wow. It's almost like a little bit of a, like a hint of a lemon in, the, in there. Reminds me almost lemon watery. With that kind of tonality of a soft lemon mixing in there. Grapefruit. Again, that little hint of like a torrified wheat tonality kind of just sits on the palate. Like a, it's between torrified wheat and a bready tone. Just kind of sits underlined on the palate. Just kind of lays there. You have that little bit of that kind of lemon slash grapefruit kind of tonality. Kind of, kind of wafts over everything. But unfortunately... That's about it. It's not very bombastic at all. Very subtle. A little sweetness, though. There's a little sweetness on that first hit. Comes through. You get that kind of sweetness. I think there's a little lactose or torrified wheat in there. Brings up this hint of sweetness. Nice, nice. That goes down. And you're left with that little bit of a... Subtle lemon grapefruit kind of tonality blending on, but it's it's more like diluted in water. It's like a, a, a kind of like lemon water, 
grapefruit water, that kind of that kind of tonality, kind of just just playing there. Everything's very subtle in this beer, which I didn't expect because Bliss is is it kind of hits you in the face, but it's extremely just drinkable, and you just want to keep going. This is very very subtle, nuanced. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, the you know the, the thing is the uh, the lactose that I'm very sorry that uh, torrified wheat lactose is the biggest star of the show and everything else just kind of plays along with it you know what I mean it's the big baritone and everything just kind of accents those those tonalities um, I prefer the regular bliss to this one for sure does it drink like it's eight percent no it drinks like it's a four percent easy drinking session ale it's it's stupid this is stupid but it's it's very thin it's got that low side of a medium body it it's it's very unassuming you cannot tell that it's eight percent it has this amazing quality to it where it's crushable however i'm not too surprised because it's indicative of what bliss did the original bliss did bliss is stupid drinkable However, it's got those tonalities where it's got a little bit more life to it. The, the fruits and the, the citrus notes, they come out. They dance around. You have more time with them. This one's more just right down the, right down the middle. So, anyway, not that bad. Maybe that's what cashmere does. Led Zeppelin thought so. Banana, banana, and fuck, fuck uh, Puff Daddy, by the way. So there it is. There it is, right there. I'm going to give this one a 7.5. I like it for what it is, but it's not anything to really shout about, write home about, nothing like that. It just hides the ABV well, goes down like a dream. It is what it is. We got a guest right here. Redbeard is in the his house. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, and you do, 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 and you kick him from the stream. That's what you do. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, hey, how you doing, guy? Oh, hey, I'm okay. How you doing? I'm alive. I'm alive. I, I noticed this. You, you, you seem not, not super zombie so. Huh? I said you seem not to be like a zombie, so I figured you were alive. Don't well, be it makes cyborg don't technology be advancing every day. So. Don't no. be so fooled. Mm -hmm. So now the stream starts. So I'll unplug you, Mr. Power Cord, and because I have an Apple phone that sucks. And I'll plug in the headphone jack. Stop it. There you go. I could have did that probably easier and quicker and smoother, but I just didn't feel like it. No, All right. there's no way that could be smoother. That was the smoothest shit I've ever seen in my life. Exactly. Smooth as butter. Melted butter. Oh, that, 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 that made butter look like a fucking ice field, all rocky and craggly and shit. That was, yeah, that was so smooth. smooth. I, I, I thank you. Cheers. Uh, that beard's looking good. So you got, you got permission to grow yeah. it back? That, 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 that whole thing is, yeah, it, it's my beard. Fuck that okay. Whole thing. Stupid okay, idiot. I got you. Yeah. It's yeah. yours. You own that. Body positive. That's right. You know it. Works it. both ways. Works both ways. Beer glass empty. Look at that fucking lacing, though. Look at that insane lacing. That wow. Shit. You should wop that that uh, logo off that glass. <gasps> what? I'm just joking. That I, I, Have you had anything by them? Yes, I've had lots. Yeah? They are my... like. Again, I don't have access. I don't have access to like nearly the amount of like there, there's some insane breweries in the states. Like I've I've only had a couple beers by, but they've been so good. I'm like, I want more like other half. What's Oscar your what's your, what's your what's your favorite sawdust though? Um, I've had a couple versions of it at this point, and it's it probably kind of a close tie between Blood of Cthulhu and Titania. Oh, blood of Cthulhu! Like, that sounds they're fun. they're they're both big fat stouts, and like mm -hmm. I like I like the I like the big fat stouts. I know, and I yeah, like I haven't had nearly as many. I like or nearly as many. Like, I like, I like, like 
Big so I've seen I've seen so many of the ones you've had, and I would like to have so many of the ones you've had. Like I've you know, like the Titania, I had a uh I got for my birthday a bottle of their 2017 vintage. And it's actually probably it's the second highest ABV beer I've had, I think, because the, the highest was I had the Flying Monkeys Invictus, which is like 18.2 or something. And then I think basically everything else has been in the 11.9 range, because that's kind of the the typical barrel aged stout range. But this bottle of Titania, I think 13 or something. And I got <clears throat> I got a comment in from Randy on your parade, and he said, I just got done with a uh, Foley Brothers Skeleton Crew bottle, or a can rather, uh, <clears throat> that comes in cans. Not too happy, just okay. Very mellow, um, not a flavor explosion, no date on the can. Uh, Foley Brothers is notorious with not dating anything on the can, and it's a hit and miss. It's a crapshoot, I guess, because we get Foley Brothers here now, too, because of my doodly-doos over at the beer store. The beer store that I... Uh, I used to uh, give all the beer information to so they could get all the good beer. They uh, they got rid of all the crew and bought all these new crews, and they're just taking all the credit for the fact they have good beer now. Nice. The the, the one the one of the the one LCBO here in town, the downtown one. I was in there last week, and the girl was literally like, "Tell me what I should get rid of on this shelf," and I was just like, "All right." Ding 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 ding. And also, I told her like, "You need to like they have the they have a." There's three LCBOs in this town, and the two on the far ends of town have like the big kind of walk in fridge. So there's beer, all that's all chilled. Mm -hmm. The one downtown has a bunch of shelving and then a couple kind of smaller fridges. Mm -hmm. And they give this the fucking fridge space to like Laker Ice and bullshit like that, where it's like, no, no, no. Like, yeah. see, see these hoppy <sighs> beers, these IPAs you're letting sit on the shelf. You want to keep them cold? Keep them cold so they actually retain yeah. their flavor a bit longer. And yeah, well, the like, other thing is like I don't know if there's if is there is that just a fridge space or is there like a walk-in cooler behind it? No, that the, in this place there is no walk-in cooler behind okay. it. Okay, no. because yeah, I was like, keep all your filth in the cooler because people are going to walk in and get it anyway. Yeah, and keep the good stuff in front so people can see it and try. It's, it it's weird because like this the downtown one I think is is actually like basically the distribution center for the for the city yeah and like that and several times the ladies have been like oh we got new stuff come back and check it out and like before mm -hmm. it's even on the shelves they'll like bring me back into the back room and like <clears throat> let me buy stuff that's on the shelves yet and they've got a lot of spare room back there they could totally expand that oh, area yeah. and make the walk-in fridge thing they gotta they gotta know what they're doing just like our we have three beer stores here in north bay mm -hmm. and none of them have like like you go to Sudbury, I think everyone there now, it's like you walk in and it's basically a tiny little area where the cash is and stuff and a couple beers that are all still all refrigerated in a little refrigerated display thing. But mm -hmm. basically you walk in and the entire store is a huge walk-in cooler basically. Right. So you walk in and like the ones here, you still have to walk in. They have like one small cooler. That'll have like all their main, like the most popular shit in it that you can just grab and like bring the. Aside from that, you have to like walk up the. And back in the day, you, they used to have shelves with an empty bottle or can of every single thing they sold. It lined the entire inside of the store. And I loved it. It was so cool. You walk in and like, I want to get some of that. Now they have you the did. stupid. Now they have the stupid like touchpad kiosk. No, thing. yeah, the touchpad. I've heard about the touchpad kiosk, and especially a lot of the drive through places. Like you touch, 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 touch. At least half the, the time I've been there, through. they're like out of order. Mm. And it's like, oh, that's super helpful. Now I don't even know. Like I, I just the only thing I use the beer store for these days is bringing back my empties. I do not buy beer there at all unless it's I went like, to the beer store in my uh, uh, Kingston. Was it Kingston? Where the hell does the Rhino have his thing at? God, my brain just shut off. I went well, to the beer store. Uh, I know it. It's right there in my head. I was thinking of Kingston, Washington. That's not right. I, I went to, but I went there and uh, um, I, it sucked. Like, it just wasn't good. Like, there was no, nothing. Like it, it's, if you want to get some uh, macro crap, yeah, that's then there you go. go. Now, like, now, they, now, they, they, I will they, say they, they let me down. Ridgeway, Ridgeway is where the Ridgeway, 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 Ontario. They did uh, let me down though, because I wanted a, a case of coconut, and they didn't have it. 
You wanted a case. A case of kokanee. Just give me the whole case of kokanee. That's and, a weird thing to want. Well, I like Bigfoot. And the, the Rene de Hinden ads back in the day with Kokanee with Kokanee and shit like that. I was they like, did, they did they they did used to have but, some great but ads. Luckily, I found a Kokanee at the Flying Saucer. And I had a Kokanee. Randomly, I was But I was so drunk camp, was, that I can't remember the Kokanee. I was working as a <laughs> camp cook out in Alberta for like a month, many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. And it was a dry camp. Nothing like no, you're not allowed to have weed, you're not allowed to have alcohol. Mm -hmm. And Within the first week of me working there, like the one guy brought me into his room and I was like, he's like, do they do like do you want some weed? And I was like, Oh yes, please help me sleep. And yeah, yeah. He's like, Yeah, I have like it's like what do you have? Did you have to suck his dick or no? I gave him ten bucks. And he literally yeah, he literally pulled out a fucking like you know those white kind of medium sized kitchen garbage bags you can buy. Yeah, of course. That's all one of those just full, basically shake. But at the same time, it's there was still it's the weed. stuff yeah. that you get out of your he, grinder and shit. He fucking he he grabbed it, he like it in there. Ten bucks, and he like went in like that and like gave me like like a pile in my hand, and I'm like, yeah. what the fuck do I do with this? It's, now? it's the residuals that you already. I already I already yeah. paid my money for everything yeah. that's going on. I already made my money back. This is all the waste over here. I'm selling it to you for ten bucks. But on top of that, then a new a new camp guy came in, like a new uh, cook. I always and thought the shake he, would make good cigarettes, though. He noticed that I was having issues sleeping, and he, he asked me, would a couple of beers maybe help you get some sleep? And I was like, probably. Yeah, and now he, he randomly good. fucking finished his shift and came back like an hour <sighs> later and like kind of under his coat, like take these two tall boys to Kokanee and hide them. And I was like, what the fuck? Where did you even so, get this? Yeah. I, they I, have, I, I, they I, have I, their I, ways. I left them outside my outside the building in the snowbank for like the rest of my shift. I had a couple yeah, hours left. Down, yeah. Like super, super cold. Went back to my room and just fucking like shotgun them both basically. I was like, oh, oh yes. And yeah. then that's probably the only semi decent night's sleep I had the entire time I was there. Like it was right. my shift was from eleven. Did you, did you actually until, make a bowl out of the coconut can when he got done to smoke it? Or did you because <laughs> I, I, I was I was scared of somebody discovering the can so i like okay. crushed them as well i could and hid them in a garbage somewhere because yeah that's right and that was like instant kind of grounds for dismissal but it's funny because like when i went i'd like roll a joint in my room and go outside and like find a place to hide and smoke it and you could see like the number of people in this camp there's like all these like in the snow all these trails to like behind this thing and behind this thing and over here where nobody could see you just these places people would go and just sit and smoke a joint it's fucking hilarious that's, that's, how long were you there like a day that you this was literally a day you couldn't like handle no, it I was, or, I, was, I was there for a month a month yeah a month a holy month it, it, well, like i said like uh, my shift was from 10 p.m until 10 a.m mm -hmm. i was like the night the nighttime sandwich guy the nighttime the, sandwich guy. I made all the food for the guys doing the work during the day kind of shit for the oh, lunch yeah, and stuff. Yeah, right. yeah. And every day, the the like I'd be finishing up my shift and the uh, the camp manager guy would come in and be like, oh, you didn't do this. It's like, um, nobody ever told me that was part of my job. And just say every day, something, yeah, a new, something. A new thing, a new thing, a new thing. And he was just such an asshole. And Make then the and I was like, my shift is the, the like full on night shift. And everyone's sleeping in like these kind of portable constructed dorm things. Right. And my room is right next to the door to go outside. So I'm trying to sleep through the day and all I can hear all day long is slam, people. Slam, slam. Yeah. yeah. It was such bullshit. All right. I don't really miss it at all. I just you just need you just need, you need a hammock. You just need to put a hammock in the woods. You're like, fuck off, bye. Yeah, the, the weather was not really Time of year wasn't great for a hammock. I'm totally doing that this this year. I do. I do have a pretty bad. My sister bought it for me a few years ago for my birthday. I have a really awesome. Like it's meant for two two people. It's yeah. got like a weird kind of separator thing in the middle. But yeah, you so can like, you yeah. and Greg. Yeah, maybe. He's but got it's, body uh, warmth. I got the full hammock, and then I and then I went on top. My sister bought me the hammock, and I was like, "This is sweet," but I also I want more now. So I bought like the full bug. No, oh, yeah, web, yeah. The web thing you can put yeah. around it. And also like a. Uh, Rain fly mm -hmm. over top, so it's basically like a full on tent at this point, right? Right, and yeah, it's it's yeah. I got the 
I got the hammocks, or I got two hammocks for the with the built-in bug nets already because they already like come in with the built-in. You just put the other line above it and it hangs. Yeah, I bought a bunch of shit to go camping. I plan on camping up in the mountains this winter. And I want to. I, I want to. I, I have like my camping kind of equipment mm-hmm. has been complete for a while. I just haven't really used it in a while. But yeah. I, I've got like I've got a bunch of shit that allows me to basically go off the grid, but still have like. USB power, like I got okay. like my little. Well, I know they have those, those, those music. Uh, bas- basically, I, I, can, all that shit. I can go like as I, I don't care about the cell phone service or shit like that. Like I can be like no service. Yeah, but I still want to be able to listen to my music. Well, they have those. I, I still uh, want to be able to have if, lights. If you have one of those big solar charging ports or whatever, well, and I, I have a small little. Uh, it's a well, it's a, the the battery pack itself is I think ninety. 800 mil it's enough to charge a basic cell phone from dead about three times mm-hmm. and it has a small solar panel for it so you can put that out and charge it and mm-hmm. then i also have the bio light camp stove right which is a, it makes power from fire mm-hmm. so like when you're making the little it, it's a little it's and i have attachments for it too so it has this grill attachment and fucking other cool shit mm-hmm. and so when i go out there i've got a headlamp that's usb rechargeable I've got my speaker that's used USB rechargeable. My phone, obviously, USB rechargeable. And uh, I actually even have a, a little tiny lighter that's USB rechargeable. Like it, it doesn't make an actual flame. It has like mm-hmm. a, a coil that you push the button and it becomes red hot. Mm-hmm. So like if you want to make a fire, you get your little tinder thing going. You push that on it, blow it on it for two seconds, and it makes a fire. It's, that's cool. It's, it's a great little like it's it's, it's not like – I guess super hardcore off the grid because I'm still using electricity. But yeah, if I can use electricity, why the fuck wouldn't I? Well, use I have. Uh, see, I'm driving out to the mountains where there's nobody for miles, hundreds of miles. Well, not hundreds, yeah. probably like tens of hun- tens of miles. Tens know, of six, hundreds, you're almost tens sad. of hundreds of thousands of miles. Like, it goes even worse. Talking. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm my, I'm driving my truck most of the way there. So I figure, well, if I have a power pack. And I'll use one while I'm there the night, and then the other one will be charged into the truck, and then I'll just kind of swap them out for the week, just going back, swapping out the power pack. You know what I mean? Because one power pack will last me the whole night. Oh, yeah. And if I plug it into the truck battery, or you can even bring another car battery with you and just plug it in, you know what I mean, with little wires, you know what I mean, little alligator clips, hit the battery, plug it into the charger, it's still going to work. That's because like I, I plan on like doing like little filmography, like oh first night in base camp kind of shit, kind of like filming everything. Cool. There is no reception up there for you know another yeah. tens of tens and tens of miles. So tens, you mean like tens so of tens of tens tens of thousands? Because uh, once you leave my place, uh, about another ten miles up the road, well, is maybe- the reception already pretty? horrifying it's already place. horrifying at my place but if you go a little bit further you don't get reception again for and it doesn't matter what carrier you're in you don't get anything for another 50 miles it's actually so. like uh, here it would take me probably an hour to drive in a specific direction where you can like, there are some places though that are pretty close to me actually not even if i go up peninsula road the, there's a random kind of road area by a lake that's not super far and yeah there's there's a lot of like once you get into like deep northern ontario yeah the cell phone service just is not a thing that exists anymore at all no like, no i can understand that like I, yeah. the, deep, the deep woods of where you are i imagine are probably relatively the same except i mm-hmm. i'm pretty in the winter you in the winter what's your like lowest kind of average temperature that happens Oh, here we don't get too bad. We had one where it was negative thirty Fahrenheit for a week and a half. But that's like With, rare, right? That's rare. But we get you know zeros, negative ten, negative four. I mean, okay, that's the, have, as usual. But you guys, you know, I'm sure you get worse than that. Well, like, well, like last winter. That's Fahrenheit, not Celsius. So I mean, last like, winter we didn't get a whole lot of snow, but it was cold for a while. Like again, this is Celsius. Which once you get into like the I, well, it's weird because it, it equalizes out at negative 40 mm-hmm. Celsius is the same as same negative, as negative 40. Yeah. To get there, like I think zero 
Can Celsius you imagine? Is, well, like I said, a couple of years ago, when that, that Arctic, uh, that Arctic, uh, that polar vortex came through, we were all at negative forty Celsius. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah. that, it just fucked. But yeah, like because that, I remember that, my buddy told me because I was working at the garage. He goes, "Yeah, you know, I went outside in just my robe, kind of like everything hanging out. You know, I just pissed off the porch. You know, this, this." So I, I told him because I did the same fucking thing today. I walked out naked. And we're like, oh, we just, you know, it's so warm outside. You know, la, 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 just pissing, not having a good time, just looking at the cat, you know, what a, blah, 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 drinking a cup of coffee. And we go inside and it's zero. You're like, oh, okay. Maybe it's not warm outside. But after feeling negative yeah. 40 for so long, you're like, whoa. Yeah. Oh, this is nice all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, uh, negative 40 Celsius is a thing that happens generally here for at least a couple My of weeks. My house this. generally gets to because i don't have a lot of heat on in the house and there's no insulation because it's a 200 some odd year old house and depending if my kids are if my kids aren't here i have bare minimum shit going on so i will literally walk in with my clothes from the outside get into bed cover up and go to sleep because it is 46 degrees in the house something like that 48 degrees in the house so you're you're keeping it like just warm enough to not let your pipes freeze and shit. Yeah, basically, pretty much. I just go fuck it. I'm the man. I uh, can deal with this, and I go to bed. <laughs> there, there, there's, I can be a man, but it's like I can be a man, and I want to be mildly comfortable at the same time. I, I, well, the problem is my electricity bill goes through the roof because I have if my wood stove's not going, I have uh, I have yeah. electric baseboard. So right it was my, uh, you know like seven hundred and fifty dollars a month for electricity. Growing up, my not one so uncle. Good had a fucking furnace in his house that it was a wood stove furnace. I don't think I've ever seen one to this day in my life, but he'd like put like three or four logs into that bitch mm -hmm. and it would keep the house warm for the whole night. It was the most mm -hmm. incredible mm -hmm. piece of engineering I've ever seen in my life. I like those uh, rocket mass heaters that they have where it's, it only takes like kindling to, to work it, but because you're heating a mass of, of, of like uh, earth, that's around all the pipes that okay. generate that keeps the heat and then it radiates the heat for hours. That's even though kind, kind of a variation bit. of geothermal, I guess. A yeah, bit. it is, but it's, it's something that a lot of like off the grid people do. And it's like a very efficient way to heat, you know, which I always thought was really nice. It's kind of cool. Well, there's really a cool thing now <laughs> I've never actually seen how they work, but there's like, there's external furnaces. Like you drive down the highway and there's like it looks like a small little like cut in a shack, a little steel. Yeah, shack. no, those are those are it's all like, those are all yeah, those are all uh, the uh, yeah the the. Um, it's uh, like 20, 30 feet away from the house. No, no, that, yeah, that, it's thirty that or forty feet away. Somehow, it, it's like, an outside wood stove, and basically you can use it's forced hot water, forced heat for this, and you run all your shit through that, and it, it warms. It seems your, so, so weird to me that it's like so far away from your house. Well, you don't want all the you don't want all the you could burn anything in the fucker. So you don't want all that that smoke hitting your house. That makes sense. Like any, any you kind can, of you yeah. can you can throw fucking once it's late you can throw tires in the bitch. You know what I mean? Like you could throw. Like, I know. I'm don't, assuming don't, they don't recommend throwing tires. They don't in recommend it. it, but a lot of people just take well, not cans, not aluminum, not like metal, but like they'll take the, whole, the whole garbage and just chuck their garbage in there while it's on fire, and, and it'll burn that down to nothing. But and it, and it comes out with the smallest ash you've ever seen. Just like, like they're like using almost, it as an incinerator as well. Yeah, as almost it. like, yeah, incinerator, a face powder kind of that. Does it have like some kind of crazy carbon filters kind of stuff going on or something? Or is it just I like, I don't know. That, I, I don't know. But there's, 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 I hope so. The, that, that's just, the, that sounds well, horrible I, for the environment. I burn, I burn everything anyway because that's where I live. <laughs> and we, we don't have a garbage man. We just burn everything. But there are the base model where you just, it's a wood stove and it, and it blows hot air into your house. There's that. And then it goes higher and higher and higher and crazier and crazier and more expensive but crazier. And like it like it massages your back while you fucking do shit. Like it's stupid. Like it's like the it has different tiers of, of, of crazy. And I'm sure like you said, like it, it has HEPA filters and different carbon filters. The higher the grade you go, it goes crazier and crazier and crazier. But yeah, but it's nice though because all you do is burn that, and it can burn because a lot of people don't burn pine because pine has creosote. Pine has, you know, can start fires. This burns anything. So if you have a lot of pine that nobody wants, because a lot of people clear pine off their property for free. Yeah, but because, pine burns gloriously. It's got so much sap and resin. Yeah, but that also creates creosote, which can start chimney fires and burn your house down if you don't keep up with do, it. Again, yeah, just clean like. 
A guy across the street from me, he does nothing but wood for his heat, like all winter mm -hmm. long. And he gets me to clean his chimney for him. Yeah. And it's just because he's an old guy. He can't get on his roof. He has all the shit for it. It's like a, a, a chimney brush with two extensions on it. That's how long his chimney is. You put it on. I go up and down like three times. And it's spotless. There, there, mm -hmm. it's, creosote is only an issue for people that are too lazy and or dumb to keep up on it kind of thing. That's, that's me. You just yeah. nailed me in the head because I have a you know 40 foot fucking chimney and I don't do but it a lot. What you want to do then is there, there's some, like, but I don't know what the name of it, but I found it years ago for my job. Like some of the places we do for hood fans, Burger King especially, the way they cook the burgers basically over a conveyor belt with a fucking flamethrower under it. Yeah. It makes nothing but creosote in that hood. Mm -hmm. And there's compounds out there that you can spray. Like you, do, you need to get on your roof. That'd be the biggest issue for you, I'm assuming, with your leg issues and stuff. But get on the roof and from the top down, get this stuff mm -hmm. and you spray it. Spray that you, for yours big enough. You haven't cleaned it in however long. You want to spray the fuck mm -hmm. out of it. And it converts all of the built up <clears throat> creosote into just. Mm -hmm. It just like breaks it down to powder, and then you brush it. And we had a um, we had a wood stove back in the day that I wood moved out, stove. and we I'm got a different wood stove. And the old wood stove had no fire bricks. You could see flame through the, cr the creases, like you know, it had no insulation. Nice. But I'll tell you what, you light a fire. I don't give a fuck what wood stove you have. If you have a fire in your living room, it's gonna run you out of the house. It goes so it gets hot real quick. Well, Years ago, my in the sorry, basement, we, we kept on feeding it with fire and fire and fire, and it would heat and heat and heat. And the, the wood, the, the because it sucks so much air, no matter how much you dampened it off, it always kept the chimney clean, no matter what. Because there was so much air, it burnt so hot, it would always yeah. keep it clean. Well, I got a new wood stove, not thinking about that. And so it burns all slow and less yeah, air. slow and less air, you know what I mean? And uh, uh, did the same efficient on wood, but you got to clean it more. Yeah, it was very, you know, because I went from nine cords a year to three. You know what I mean? Like, so that, that was definitely, definitely better. That's and then one day, improved, and then, yeah. yeah, and then we had the fucking, we actually had a, 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 a chimney fire because I wasn't keeping up on it like it needed to be because I'm so used to just once a year, boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's rock and roll. But that one does not the same thing. That's like you need to clean it twice the year you're using it. Yeah. Not you know what I mean? And I'm like, whoa, okay. Well, now we know. Hi, Kitty. How you doing? Uh, here's Vanessa. But uh, the the way I got around that because one, I don't want to climb on my chimney and scuttle scuttle around like this on my fucking roof. I because do. it's really, really, really painful on the nuts. But you, uh, just get I, up onto the top part of the roof and just walk. There, up. There's no, that my my roof's like this, we'll and get, it's got like spikes that go up the middle, so you can't walk on it. So you have to scuttle your nuts around to that, get to the chimney. Do, I how do you get? How do you scuttle through spikes? What are you saying I, right now? I have to jump over the little spikes, and they you hurt step my nuts. over them. No, no, you, you can't to... walk on my roof. You, yeah, I can walk on your roof, and someday I'm just saying, I will. There's I'll no, show there's you. no walking. There's, there's, you just kind of scuttle, you, dude, scuttle, you'd be, scuttle. You'd be mind blown at the shit I fucking walk on, dude. Yeah, I'm I would, just saying. I will spider man the hell out of on my roof because I don't want you. If, if I ever it. come to your house, I'm going to give you. We have a free clean, a free chimney cleaning just because I'm there. That's what I'm going to do. I put in. I put all stainless steel liners in now. That's how I got around that issue in the chimney. Yeah. Okay. Stainless steel liners are fucking awesome. You know what you do? You burn it hotter. My chimney's dirty. Burn it hotter. Don't worry. Chimney fire cleans it right the fuck out. You want a chimney fire. Chimney fires are great. Fucking. I don't think, as, as far as like the potential of things coming out of your chimney and setting the surrounding area on fire, I'm just oh, I don't give a no fuck. Right? I, have, I, I have insurance for that. I have insurance for that. That's all right. But does the state have insurance if you burn half of it down? I don't care. You, you, you kind of should. I, I have I have sure. a nest. I have a big nest ball on top of my uh, chimney, so nothing goes out except for ash, like not ash, but like smoke and stuff. And it covers everything. I gotta. I still gotta take that off, and clean it every year. Oh but, yeah, you know, like, so I, a mesh kind yeah. of thing that like, catches. Yeah, anything. yeah. I don't. I don't want anything nasty coming out of my chimney. So That's I put cool. a nest a nest ball. I remember years ago uh, when I used to live at my dad's place, like when I was a kid, obviously. 
We lived about a exactly. kilometer away Jimmy from like blast my parents' house. Just let it go. And I, I was a bit of a pyro, I guess you could say. Like, I loved just like we had a wood stove, and I loved just like I'd be home alone. I'd sit there with the wood stove, like the, the door open. Bird, and birdie, the dog. What? Ne- no, God, <laughs> you're, never. You're, you're fucking weird. No, anybody that intentionally no, I, like, joke, makes an animal going. suffer should be put into a stove and slowly roasted alive. That's fucking humans no. Humans are animals too. That's not nice. You're so ginger. It's, okay, continue anyway, with your story. So, Come one on night, my, my dad was at work and I was just like, I think I had this like a bunch of paper that was left over and I was like burning it and like enjoying it and like burning all up and getting sucked to the chimney and stuff. And like, and I'm sitting there having fun, just burning some stuff. And they, the phone rings and it's my grandma, like a kilometer down the road being like, is everything okay at your house? There's like fire coming to your chimney right now. It's like it's a piece of paper like coming to the chimney on fire and like blowing into the night. I'm like, oh, ah! everything's okay. I'm just going to stop doing that now. I was like, I'm, well, that's, I, that's, I'm done. My sisters used to always have candles and shit and they burn down to, you know, the bottom of the candle. And there's been like this waste piece. Mm-hmm. And I had, I don't know where it came from, but I had this like tiny little like metal pail with mm-hmm. little handle on it and stuff. And I'd take all their leftover wax pieces and put them into this pail and yeah. put it in the fire until they melted and bring it back out and stick a wick in there and mm-hmm. new candle. This one time I was doing it, I left it in the fire too long. I don't know if you've ever seen this with wax, but once wax hits this like critical temperature, mm-hmm. you can't blow it out. No, there's like, no blowing. Like, you have to smother it. Door, and it's a, it's a little metal bucket of flaming wax. And I'm like, oh, yeah. shit. So I hook it up. I bring it up. Like, I blow it out. Yeah, that makes it worse. Two, two, no, two seconds that. later, it just self-ignites. I'm like. No, yeah, yeah, because it's, no, well, it's heat done. and oxygen and source. Yeah. And it's it's like five going. times. I'm like, yeah. So I bring it outside. I think I'm just going to let it sit outside until it cools, and it's wintertime. Yeah. And I tripped, and it falls into the snow. On, on top of the it, snow, it, though. It hit the snow. It made the only mushroom cloud I've ever seen in person in my life. It was tiny, like probably only like maybe five feet tall, but, but this was like, <clears throat> out of the snow. I was like, yeah. and I, I'm pretty sure I lost half my eyebrows or so. Like, it was like, it was. Oh my god, that was absolutely crazy. I'm not playing with wax in the fire anymore. <laughs> yeah, I remember well, I had my room and I used to layer my room with pictures of random shit. Like I figured my room is my brain exploded. Like if I put an M80 in my brain, so I just layered my whole room with I mean, I would change the decor of the room, but I would always keep the pictures. Like sometimes I'd have corn cobs layering lay, layering my room for some no reason. Or I, I made a I made a, a big I made a big spider's web of VHS tapes all over around my room. You know, like this random shit. But I had pictures all over the fucking place. Picture upon picture upon picture. And we had candles the one day. We were hanging out in my room and stuff, blah blah blah. Someone opened the door somewhere, which caused a a random gust of wind to blow through the trailer. And all of a sudden this one picture went into the candle and back out. And we're like, and we just looked over and the wall just started going up. We're like, no, fuck. And we started smacking, smacking the walls. And just the one picture that didn't have the little ass end tagged on it just went right into the candle and right back to the wall. And then nice. it started climbing. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> that was really funny because we didn't notice it at first. So it was like halfway up the wall before we went, oh, shit. It was one you, of those you, moments. You, you save things. Mildly, yeah. or at least, yeah. I'm, I got, I got, I got the, keeping going with this theme. Theme of stupidity. years ago, I was living and I was living on top of the bar I was working at, the Moose here in North Bay. And mm-hmm. it's like I, I lived on top of the place, and after work, people would come by and we just get all drunk and high together. And this right. one night, me and some buddies are sitting there having some beers, smoking some joints, watching a fucking movie or something like that. And I had like the, a big asked like a uh, ashtray in the middle of my coffee table. Cause back then I was like, whatever you're in my house, you want to fucking have a smoke, go ahead. Cause I, I didn't care about my shit, I guess. Like n- nowadays you want to smoke in my house. No, you go outside smoking in my house. No, fuck. You smoke but in my back house. in the day. But yeah. You didn't again, give a fuck. again. So sitting there and I had to this ashtray and for whatever reason, I had like a, a candle burning, like sitting in the ashtray burning, I think for the point of like you want to light your joint, there's a flame always available for any kind of thing. And it was scented candles, so 
it also kind of made it smell nice. Mm -hmm. And at one point, this candle you were, you were worried about getting that pussy. That's right. That was a, yeah, in a pussy this, day. This, that's candle a nice melted, candle. this candle melted down yeah. and like liquefied into the ashtray. And so every single thing like, became like a layer of wax. Mm -hmm. And every single cigarette butt or anything that was poking out of said pool of wax became, became candles. Became a wick. Yeah. So uh, we're just sitting there being like, I mean, I was like, you know, it'll burn itself out, whatever this is. It's kind of cool. We have a little bonfire yeah. happening on my coffee table. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know, happens when one glass gets kind of hot sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just all of a sudden, especially when you get it cool real quick too. All of a sudden, this fucking ashtray snap breaks. Yeah, <laughs> and all the wax just is like flowing across the table, and it's at the point like what I said before, like we're like now this wax is hot enough where it's not just little wicks. Everything's on fire. I'm like, oh, now you're towering I'm, inferno. I'm like, I'm still like. I'm calm. I'm like, give me a second. I got this. I walk out, and this apartment that I was living in on top of this restaurant was old. And when I moved in, there was this fire extinguisher. <laughs> that didn't work. It was there. And I, it had never been tested, never anything like that. It was just like, mm -hmm. I'm like, I got a fire extinguisher. I got this. Apparently, whatever was in this fire extinguisher, once some mechanic, some chemicals in a fire extinguisher, I guess, get to a certain age. They become the opposite of fire extinguishing chemicals. Fire I enhancing went, I, chemicals. I walked over to this fucking flame and was like, and it was like, and I'm like, oh fuck. Well, yeah, it and depends like, on, and it also depends on too, because maybe that was a K fire extinguisher. I, I, well, like, electric, like electrical fire. So that's. I don't. I don't know. Like, I think this this one was like before. I think when it was like when they had. Like different <laughs> fires are kind of the most recent, I think, of like the the. I, no, uh, they had they had K fires twenty years ago when I worked at PPL because I had to do fire training. So oh really? This was twenty years ago, yeah. Okay. Well, again, whatever this was, <laughs> so this when I hit that, that's when I was finally like, okay, I should maybe ah! panic, maybe panic a bit. So I ran and grabbed like I think I I had a look at me. I was like at least twenty years old. I had a bunk bed because it was a good deal and. I don't know. I and you could have your friend sleep on top while you bang. Like, you know, the, the, the funny thing was, I I saw I was I slept on the bottom all the time, and at least three different times, a girl came over, and was like, you know, I, I don't want to be all like full river. So like, they, they, she just slept the top bunk, and then within like a couple hours, she like crawled down and like slept. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. People so made I ran over and grabbed that blanket from that bed and smothered the fire. Yeah. And, yeah, kill it, it just kill it. That's right. Oh, yeah, you could have took what I'd like to do is if there's a fire, you take like a big ash fucking pot cover and just you know, I mean, like pots or you know, yeah, smother. This, this was, I like, I, 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 I love watching head. videos of people putting water on grease fires, it's the funniest thing because <laughs> people well, always saw, just go. I, saw, I, and they I watched go, oh. a video recently and it was like, how many things can go wrong in one minute? And it's just the video with some people, some weird language. I don't know what it was, but they're like, they got a little fire going. <laughs> Must have been guys, Jordy's. Guys, guys got a jerry can. Yeah. And he goes to dump some gas into the fire with the jerry can. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously fire travels up. So we, all of a sudden he has a flaming jerry can. So like, what the fuck do you do? And he drops it. And then all of it, gas comes out. Like, oh shit. So he grabs the jerry can and decides to try to throw it in the pool. There's a small, wow. like, above ground pool. And Great he idea. trips. And spills a bunch of gas like in front of the pool, and then throws it in. So the stuff in the pool is kind of out at this point; it's still flaming on the surface, but it's going out. And then the fucking fire bursts open the front of the pool, and just like like the the, 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 the number of things that happened in the, like a minute in this video was we just we have Greg in the comments, the wonderful bylog, and it says Paul kills too many people, and Redbeard doesn't kill enough. Can you all uh, decide to collaborate together, and maybe we can have a happy medium? And he's not wrong by any of those comments. Because I was going to say, like, I remember you saying about, like, it formed, like, the ash. I was like, I remember my first girlfriend, like, forming the bathtub I kept her in. Like, she just kind of melted. But that was a whole other thing. Never proved that. Obviously. Yeah, I'm just saying, we're good. She was a bitch anyway. Have you heard of the, and, you must have heard of it. The, there's a torture that involves a bathtub. It was on the, the Venture Brothers that fantastically amazing cartoon i was always really big into uh what dr 
Dr. Man. What was the fucking, what was her name? Oh, the, doc, uh, Dr. Uh, doc, Dr. Girlfriend. Dr. Girlfriend. I was always thinking like, of Dr. Now, she, now like. she's Dr. Mrs. Nemotic. Like it's, she, her voice is weird, but like she's, as far was, as fictional character goes. I was I, no, I was gonna say we we talked about in the in the chat we talked about Mrs. Incredible. I've always been into her butt. She just has the perfect big round milf butt. She can, I like she that. Can make it bigger if she wants to. Uh, that I like that. The bigger the better. Power, yeah. The so doc, doc, Doctor Girlfriend and, and Mrs. Incredible's butt. Yeah, I'm into that. You know, remember that, remember that time where she got caught between the doors? Yep. I would have been that fucking, uh, uh, you know, um, enemy agent that went, oh well, this. Cut this open and like enjoy that whole door cut thing. Oh, there you go. And her face going, oh, yeah. they would have never shown that on the film. You think? That was that was actually the first, and I believe to this point, aside from the Incredibles two, but maybe the new one, but the, the first ever Pixar film to be rated PG as opposed to just G. G, right. Yeah, right I watched exactly. a, uh, a video recently. And I would have like, got at about, least, I got, I mean, I would have went right to X. There's something wrong with you. Love for P. Well, there there would have been a, at least, that they would have had to have it a director's cut of edition, I think. That would have been good. So, you know, there you go. I'm just saying, you know. I would, am I wrong, Greg? Am I wrong? Should Vi had a weird, un, invisible, Dildo scene? I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. She was like it's, it's an awkward, it's an awkward, it's an awkward moment. It's an awkward moment, but she's invisible. I'm just saying. I just want Redbeard to yell at me. Because people have feelings too, Redbeard. I'm just, I'm fighting for Dan. I'm fighting for Dan right now. I'm here fighting for Dan. I'm here. I'm fighting for Dan right now. I wasn't going to bring it up, but I'm fighting for Dan. Fucking West Coast Nick. That it, horrible. Off the grammar off seas. Yeah. Fucking horrible <laughs> uh, uh, typing, no proof reading piece of shit. Everybody else, like all the other guys, Greg, basically Greg never. Like, everybody wrong. else, pretty much always spell stuff right, and occasionally make a little mistake, and they'll like call them out. And it's like, ah, you know, that, no what I said, Dan, Dan, Dan though, like that. almost every single fucking comment. What I like, what I said might be a little off because I said invisible, so you take it as it is. Greg, now let's hear what Greg says. Family sex. Why is it Greg in here? Greg in here. Family sex just shows love, especially when it's weird superhero love. And Greg has I sh- taken to that nice step that I wanted to. I, 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 saw, I, wanted- Twitter, I saw a tweet or a post something like that. It was recently like, uh, I remember when I was a kid and like family porn wasn't a thing like where where have we really gone as society we're like I, well the problem is i grew up and now well, now it's a thing but the problem is uh oh, daddy greg, oh daddy greg, like, greg, greg, fuck oh, oh no no the daddy thing is fucking awesome because i'm a dad so i don't i don't I mean it's not it's, it's not weird to me because i watched that shit before i was a dad well, okay, that, but again, again, did you have daughters true yeah i know but the whole thing so i watched that before that i watched that before that you get your fucking it's, channel it, taken it's down. Not, it's it's not <laughs> it's not it's not it's their daddy. Not get in here. It's not you're, 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 you're complete you're completely adding to things that shouldn't be added to. That's the thing, is you're adding connotations that should never be added to connotations. It's a it's a role playing weird thing that doesn't actually mean real life. Like you're being weird with this. No, but like, the, whoa, no, don't add the weirdness. The, the don't, you're adding the weirdness. Is fucking you're weird, adding, man. Like, there's, 
there's role having, playing and there's no, no like and then if, there's, you're, like, if you're if you're a little red riding if you're a literal red riding hood and the big bad wolf you're not gonna say oh by the way i'm six no you're not gonna say that you're just riddle red riding i'm the big bad wolf she's We're not been gonna... portrayed at many different ages throughout the yeah, stage yeah but not the real back one back. like not the one that everyone knows come on what are you doing here like yeah, that's yeah, what you, you, you don't really help your grandma you fuck. don't i mean i'd fuck my grandma because you know she's a bitch anyway yeah but i'm just saying like you don't do that you don't do that you don't do, i'm gonna call you i'm gonna call you greg beard you just went there i don't really know that's, that's a weird thing to be called like is my beard greg or you're you're greg beard i don't All know right. i don't know cherry i was cherry with well, no, you're ch you're cherry you're cherry you're a little tart tonight. You're a little bit tart. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle it. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. What? Just, just watch this shit. I'm here. Hey fuckers. Oh shit. I'm you should change me, these uh, probably should use your now. powers to make the camera angles different now. Uh, I'm, just, can't, I'm, can't. I'm literally I'm, just on my iPad just kind of doing this watch thing. This. So no, you, you can. Gonna, can. There's I'm a way to do it. I'm gonna do this. I'm only I'm only here for yeah. a minute. Anyway. I, I want you to get I want, to, I want you to get away from me. So you know, I want to get closer to Paul. There we go. I'm close. Oh, once me. once there's another person joining, I can move you all the fuck around. It's great. Yeah, no, it's crazy. I didn't know that was a thing. That's pretty cool. So but there is I also saw, a way I to make the camera know, angles different. I wasn't planning to be on here, but you guys were having some good chats. So I want we're to having good chats. I have to take a piss and and you'll hear it. So first of all, I want to shame Redbeard. I want to say Redbeard, <laughs> I hear a uh, certain lady on our chat is having her birthday today, and I don't know why you're not with her fucking, like, balls deep in her right now. Um, uh, I'm assuming on her birthday she'd probably spend that with her boyfriend yeah, and also have to work like, at 8 tomorrow morning, so I'm not... It sounds to me like her boyfriend's a dud, and you need to get in there and fucking teach her what a real man is, and I don't know if you're a real man, but I, I guess you should at least try. You, we've been through this. I, I've, um, I've, I've, I've done this before. I did, it happened one time, and... Um, if if she wants it again, she can come and get it. I don't know what to say. Like that, uh, that's not how you tell ladies. You don't say fucking come and get it. You fucking go there and say, "Here's my cock." You know what? With ladies, it's. It, I feel like I, I, I wasn't naming yet. names, but sure, okay. You get so, so sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm. I'm sure she's the one person in the background of this fucking chat watching right now. Listen, don't get me wrong. You're not her number one choice. Nick is clearly her number one choice. No, no, no. Well, May, May, May Lee, 100%. She, well, she... Okay, May Lee, Nick, and Paul are all probably in the running. They all have their their things. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure she'd meet Paul in person, and within five minutes, she'd be like, um, yeah, call, but... call, her, call, call her friend like with her like escape plan kind of thing. No, no. Paul's more of a Paul's more of an internet fantasy. Uh, you don't want him in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, none of them are geographically convenient to her. Like, I, apparently, she's quite short, and she told me she wants to bang a tall chick. I'm like, well, my wife is relatively very tall compared to you, but uh, yeah, again, not geographically convenient, so not likely to happen. You should uh, see her neck; it's crazy. What are we talking about? What is with you and my wife's neck, dude? Fuck. Like, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. I actually said you had one for a change. How about you just calm down? All right. Relax, dude. Relax. Yeah, I'm right. trying to be nice. You should That's see my mean. wife's tits. They're pretty fat, oh, yeah. too. Bro. I, well, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to yell. Anyway, I'm all, all, say all no. I'm saying is, Red Beard, you, you should just be taking your opportunities when they come to you. So and, did uh, and did uh, did here's Agnes say that she was gonna fuck Redbeard or something? Like, what did I miss? What I'm did saying I, she's gonna fuck Redbeard. That's that's the intuition I'm getting. And fuck, I'm the thing fuck is, if this, if this loser boyfriend gets in the way, I would argue you kill her. Uh, sorry, kill him, not not her. Don't kill her. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, kill her, and I'll fuck her. <laughs> no, no, yeah. No. Who are we talking about? The I'll, the fuck the queen. The queen. I'll fuck the queen. I just want to specify: you can kill him and then get Paul's help, and then. Paul is well known. He can keep. He can make him seem alive for at least twelve yeah. months. Don't worry, I'll animate. Yeah, yeah we're getting the whole geographical issue. Like Paul's not close enough to really help me. 
I can like, drive. It's you're only like, eight hours away from me. I can. Yeah, he'll he'll somebody. get there in like a I'm night. I'm driving way further to kill and rape people. So I feel okay. like more than no way. How long does it take for you to get to Niagara Falls? Uh, four hours. How how long how long, how long, I live? How far? I'm I'm Niagara? about seven past there. So seven. You, I can do eleven. It's less than twelve. Uh, <laughs> you're not wrong. It's less than thirty as well. Um, yeah. If if he gets to break his dick off in a dead dude, he he's I'm, he's I'm there. totally into it. He's there. I'm just saying, yeah, yeah. Oh, and don't worry, it grows back if you're worried. It no. does. <laughs> he's like a yeah. fucking lizard. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his defense mechanism. Don't Crazy. worry, don't worry. It's gonna be winter by then. I'll just kill him with an icicle. Leave no trace. No trace. Oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that stab totally with works. a couple icicles. They did. They did. Unfortunately, they disproved the whole ice bullet theory on MythBusters. But ice no, the ice theory, no. Ice I sickle. I'll just stab a bitch. Yeah. Was that die, 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 die hard too? Or like in the eye? Ah. Yeah. Usually, yeah. I come at the last, like last breath. Is usually when I squirt in my pants. So I like that. Have you ah. seen the show The League, Paul? No, I don't watch. Is the character on that show like his? Uh, I think Rafi is what he's called. And Rossi. I can't think of the guy who plays him, but if I showed you a picture, like you'd probably recognize. And his demeanor in this show is like, like at one point, uh, somebody the taco, he he gets all the people together, and he finally, he, you know, the brown, the brown, you know, the uh, the myth of the brown note. Yeah, no, it's like it's a musical note you can play. That, yeah. that yeah. makes people shit their pants. Make the shit. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Taco discovers this, and Rafi. Yeah. He he becomes when he shits. Yeah. Hey, so, uh, so, red so he's red. like he's on the floor shitting. Yeah. And look in my eyes. <laughs> uh, like, oh, honestly, dude, I think like if it, the show is about a bunch of the, the, the league is what it's called. Redbeard. Can, can, people... can I ask you a question, Crook? Yes. Have you ever seen the the Super Mario Brothers movie with John Leguizamo? Yes, that's been a while. If you if you look at Greg right now, doesn't he look like a Koopa Trooper? <laughs> he always does, but it's great. I'm just saying, like, yeah, I kind of do. My face is very squished right now. That angle, not the not the regular Greg, but the angle Greg right now is like a Koopa Trooper. But anyway, go back to shooting. <laughs> I can and actually see that, eyes. to be honest. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> saying, I'm not, I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just saying, no, okay, you're that, trying to be a dick, but like... you're actually not completely wrong either. So. That looks <laughs> like Greg, too, but with a with like, could you imagine Greg with like hair all around his head? That's what Greg looks like. No, do you, you know don't want to imagine right Greg with hair. It would be terrible. Just bigger oh, eyes. Do you recognize this guy, Paul? No, I don't. I've never seen him before in my life, especially if it looks like me. Like, like honestly, you've never seen him in anything? Nope. Sorry. Wow. You know, you know what? I, I Again, the league. The, 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 the premise of the show is a bunch of guys who have a fantasy football league. But I don't I know hate what football, football is. I don't, I don't like football. I don't give a shit, but it's... So he has a, a fantasy to. soccer league or no, a football? No, league? It's, it's American football, like actual. Oh, American oh football. okay. Like, I, don't, you know, I mean, I, I don't, don't understand what sports is. I I don't I don't give a shit about football. The show, though, like just the people in it and stuff. Do like, a, they, do you give a shit about other things? Occasionally, like others, other sports. No, not really. No, no. What about hockey? The fuck no, God. Like, no, oh, if oh, anything, so if so anything, so my so favorite so sport. The saddest maybe to some people to hear is baseball. Well, why not female volleyball? They're in bathing suits and they jump around sweaty. Uh, to watch, I guess maybe I'm just saying to play. Like I, I can't play female volleyball. I'm you can only of, jack off so much I, in one day. I can't play any sport since I got kicked off that pee wee uh, pee wee football team when I was uh, 26. So I, I can't. I was in high school football and I got my knee completely destroyed during practice. That was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just because you're stupid. No, it was because the guy that was with me was going way too fast in the drill we were doing. Yeah, because you're not as good as him. That's the thing is, he was just wow. he was no, just kick, no. he was kicking you out of the herd. Like no, you know what? He was being like, a dick. You were a young gazelle. <laughs> the, 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 the drill is all about being in sync and with in rhythm with your fucking fellas. A three person thing called it's, a monkey uh, roll. And this guy was just being an asshole. And that's how. That's all it was. He I'm jumped. Say you were like, like, so he was an asshole. Normally, he bends like this, like like meh. My knee bent like yeah. this, man, like man. completely the wrong way. My knee got blown off by a lawnmower. That was a whole other thing, though. I hit the flywheel. <laughs> Smash. 
So what's your injury now, Paul? Anyway, is it still oh, from I'm when you flipped now. your I'm truck? Better now. I'm better now. I'm better now. Are you okay? Well, yeah, I slipped disc in my back and pitched my sciatic, so I was kind of crippled for a while. Oh, okay. I'm better but, now. Because I was gonna say, I know you flipped your truck a while back. No, I'm good. No, I took my uh, our, uh I took my Rav four off a cliff and landed on the roof. Oh. I should have been killed, but I was fine. Hmm. You know, Rav. It, it, it turns out it just it the fall got broken by a bunch of dead hookers for some strange. Yeah, reason. exactly, exactly. I was just like, all the bitches I kept in that fucking wagon saved my life. What did you say, Redbeard? I think you you, you realize Rav fours are not the most uh equ- equipped off road vehicles out there. My like, uh, well, wherever I live here is off the road. But I actually really like the Rav Four. The problem yeah, is, um, I took very- off the road when I was not in the state of to to be driving so much. So. Okay. Well, I, I, and, I, then, uh, I, I, I and, well, uh, and well, I, I took it off the road, and it was really fun, and I really had a good time doing it. That's and it. the um, passenger roof was crushed to the passenger seat, but mine was fine, and well, I got out and go. So you're real, you're real alone, I'm, I'm assuming and hoping. Of then? course, no, yeah. Uh, well, so yeah you, lucky you didn't kill someone, so I was a, no, I, no, that was the thing. Because if not, I would have, I would have taken precautions to enough. I would have blown my brains out. But um, my, uh, it was good. I, uh, I did a big crash, and it was fun. It was fun, and I took it off a, cl- a 50 foot cliff. Poof! Wow, look at that. It was fun. So I kicked out the windows because I it was barefoot, apparently. And uh, I, I walked home, and uh, I went to bed, and everything was fine. Like you, nobody ever came across it and charged you for anything or anything. No, no, well, no, no, nobody would have ever seen where I crashed ever. Is this is the vehicle still there? <laughs> like, uh, I had it towed. Okay. Yeah, dude, no, it, that's that's a that's a weird story, man. Yeah, it was a good time. Thanks. I went home, and I was like, oh, that was fun. I had to crawl up a mountain to get to the road, and I was like, "Wow, look at this! That was really funny." Okay, I'm gonna go. It was complete at, at night, so it was dark as fuck, and I was like, "This is this is cool." And I just went home. I went went uh, went to bed. Wow. Yeah. And the next day, I was like, "Hey, by the way, I crashed my car. So uh, you want to get that? Thanks." <laughs> it was one of those kind of deals. Oh, I had to, uh, did I have to pay a fee? I think I had to pay some kind of fee for the tow. I had to pay the tow guys and I had to pay this, but I, I figured it would be nicer instead of leaving it in the valley. I figured I'd be nice to tow it out, tow it out. So, so yeah, I'm a very thoughtful guy. So, uh, you know, I'm going to be somewhat thoughtful as well to my like coworkers and stuff and go to bed because I need to work in like fucking seven hours. So, uh, that's all right. That's all right. But it's Don't been be fun. thoughtful and drink the spear. Oh, you have a great rest of your evening, buddy. And see, I'm like Greg, who just like, well, I guess he, he sent a message, his thing crashed, but he's going to bed. So, like, I'm at least going to say, good Cheers. night. Bye bye. Cheers.